Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Auction Not Included. Oh, gosh, we're all gonna die. Right, okay, first things first. Um, I need to pull back my enthusiasm a little bit. Because I realise that this water will be more than enough for our needs, I believe. So I don't frankly know what I was panicking about, in all honesty. Uh, I'm also, because I, I, I don't need to collect all of this water and all of this water into one place. I just think that's going to be pointless. Um, I don't see that there's any purpose in that. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of time. How do I... How do I how, what am I doing? Honest... Eh, I've forgotten all the buttons. Deconstruct. Deconstruct it. Why aren't you... Oh, oh, that's the deconstruct... No, 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 no. Sorry, I'm being thick. Where's the accursed sink? Because I want to build a normal sink rather than an, uh, a proper one. I know it's not great, but wash basin, this is what I want. I know it's not fantastic, but it's not as good as the normal sink, but it doesn't require plumbing, which will save me a lot of trouble. So yeah, I'm going to simplify this process and just build just take this water here because I think that's going to require a lot less resources and a lot less faffing around and a lot less danger. There we are. A lot less danger on the people's part because it's going to mean they don't have to dig through loads and loads of slime to get anywhere and actually do anything. So hopefully this will not result in a horrible, horrible death for everyone involved. I say hopefully, but there's absolutely no guarantee whatsoever that they won't die a horrible, horrible death, because knowing me, they will die in horrible ways. Okay, other things that I've been thinking about in the meantime, I was thinking about digging out underneath here, partly because there's resources here, and partly also because, is this an unreadable dig or not? No, it isn't. Okay, I, I, I do want to get on with this though, this is kind of important. Uh, like all of this is 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 pretty dang important. Um, I was thinking about digging out under here and putting air flow tiles in the bottom. That way, hopefully, the carbon dioxide might seep down. Because if carbon dioxide goes down, then by making this the not most bottom area, not making it the lowest area, then surely that would logically mean that the CO2 would go down to the lowest area, which would be underneath here, which would be an area they wouldn't naturally be, which would require a, a, a number of resources but maybe not as many resources as another alternative to the solution to the problem, perhaps? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. I'm not convinced. No, no I'm not going to give Lindsay a skill, because, as I said previously, I don't want a chance. I don't want a chance her stress going any higher, because, yeah, Lindsay's the only one that's stressed right now. What's stressing you, kiddo? You're having an allergic reaction. I don't. What are you having an allergic reaction to? Oh, still not finished. Is this game still not 1.0 then? Hmm. This game, I should have probably emphasised a bit. I should probably. Bleh. I probably should have learned how to speak the English language before I made a job out of doing it. Well, a hobby. Um, what was I talking about? I've got absolutely no clue. I also had another thought. Where's the crown moulding stuff? Yeah, this. I thought we could put it here. Oh no, can we? Oh no, I was thinking we could put the crown moulding here next to these tiles in order to make... Um... Yeah, apparently if I can go there. Hmm, it seems like pretty pointless to have it there though. Um, I was thinking we could put the crown moulding there so they'd be able to decor where they're sleeping so that it would reduce the amount of stress they have. But no, evident, evidently that's not a real idea, apparently. I've also decided to make a dangerous executive decision that I'm going to get a fifth person, because we've got a fair amount of food and we've got a fair amount of oxygen, particularly since we've got three of these terrariums which aren't even on currently, so if the oxygen does increase significantly, um, we can improve that, because currently, in the last cycle, we are using we're generating just more than we're using. So each person uses around 50 kilograms in a day. Hmm, I don't know how much these produce in a day though, so maybe we'll try turning one on and see if that fixes the problem. Because I'm gonna bring in a fifth person because the productions of these in order to reduce the temperature here, is that working by the way? Yes? 
These are orange, they used to be red, now they're orange. I can live with that. Okay, that's good. Um, oh, good, these are getting done. I need to start building these. Um, what was I wittering on about before I started going on about that? I have already completely forgotten. Uh, oh yeah, I'm bringing in a fifth person, sorry. I do not know what is wrong with my brain today. I'm bringing in a fifth person because with the production of those um, ice fans, a lot of people are spending a lot of time on them rather than uh, doing other jobs, which is a severe problem. I also should be aware because eventually we are going to run out of ice. See, we've, I think we started at 4,000 kilograms and we're already down to 2,900 kilograms, which is not great by any stretch of the imagination. So that is quite a serious problem, if I'm honest that we eventually are going to run out of ice. So this, as I said previously, this is not a, a fix-it solution. This is a pro delay the problem it solution. To oh, gosh. What happened here? Is the pressure in here going down? It is. Kinda. Eventually this might work again. But I'm starting to think that these things do not actually consume gas. They just need to be in gas. I think the reason this is going down is because it's a sealed environment and sometimes they're going in there breathing up the gas and then they're leaving again. So eventually it is get tr drifting down again, which is the problem because what I need is something that consumes carbon dioxide. And I thought it was going to be these plants because plants consume carbon dioxide. So I assume if I pumped carbon dioxide into here, they'd consume it, which would be a way of producing power with the offshoot of carbon dioxide and then pushing it in here in order to get rid of it. But I don't know if that's going to work in the long run because it may just be that they want to be situated within carbon dioxide rather than um, um, they don't actually consume it they just want to be situated in it is what I'm trying to say and failing miserably because my brain doesn't work see if I did something like this and then I, oh wow yeah, how did water get into your apartment, Max? At least it's clean. Ish. Oh, gosh, that means Max's stress is going to go up. Well, at least Lindsay's stress has gone back down. Yeah, now it's Max who's stressed. What? Oh. Oh, okay, well, we can choose our fifth person. Care package. Snazzy suit increases the decor in a small area around the wearer. I give that to Lindsay just so that she's permanently in a, uh, a high decor area. Okay, so you fart. You can't research and neither can you. Hmm. You get a bonus in the morning and you don't consume as much air. You're better at decorating. Um, decor morale bonus. Decor morale bonus allows duplicates to receive morale boost from lower decor values. Hmm. You vomit, you vomit. You're destructive, so as much as I like your decreased air consumption, I'm not getting you. Um. You're very strong. Hmm. Okay, Camille. Get in here. Get in here, you crazy, crazy person. Uh, enable the building. We'll, yeah, we'll just have the one in there. Oh no, Camille! You don't have a bed! Oh gosh, I'm really dumb. You have nowhere to live. Oh, I didn't plan. I am dumb. Oh. Gosh, we're screwed. Give me a minute, I'll get there in a second. Right, okay, that's that's the start of Kem of Kemmel's run. Uh, you've got a skill, and you've got absolutely no morale requirements. Okie dokie, what should we give you? Um, well, you were good at carrying, weren't you? So I feel like we should improve that even more. And then again, we have got some lots of carriers already. Um, two to machinery, to strength. Get another cook. I want a better builder. Because we've only got one builder. And I fancy having a better builder hanging around. Um, I feel like I should build you a bed just for the sake of it. Just so that you've got something to park your bum on at night. We'll just stick it there for the time being. And we'll priority eight it. And assign it 
Just as, is it you? Is it, is it you? Yes! Get to work, start doing stuff for me. See, I am a little worried. I'm a little worried by what's that? Coal, why does coal have germs on it? Um, I'm a little worried. Because to dig this stuff out, they're going to have to go into a germy spot. Which means they're going to kind of... They're going to kind of need this wash basin to be done like priority 712. Because I kind of need that wash basin done as quickly as possible. So that while they're in there working, they are not getting themselves covered in germs. <sighs> Dear. Thinking about it, I probably should have gone over here or something. Because this would have been a bit easier to do the plumbing for rather than the mess that I've invented over here. Oh good, we've got, we got more food anyway, if nothing else. Hoping that's not going to throw our food balance out of whack, because there's a very good chance that it will. Which would be a severe problem if it does. Okay, so they got this done. I'm actually going to increase this. I don't... Ah, oh, it's a six. Uh, they got lots of other jobs that are sixes. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm going to increase the priority on this moppage though, because I don't want Max sleeping in the wet. Mop de mop mop. That's better. Okay, you mopped for two seconds and then you gave up on moppage. Oh dear. Oh gosh! What happened here? Oh no, when I deconstructed the. Oh, the. Oh, when I deconstructed the wall in order to make. They can deconstruct the wall in order to make the um the ladder down here for the this oxygen trail and my I busted through the pipe as well. Which means that these three showers have not been operating for this whole time. Freighters, which means they haven't been able to shower, which means they've been treading germs everywhere. Give me strength. Alternatively, give me, give me an alarm system. I'd I'd settle for one of those at this point. See, I've kind of worked myself into a corner here because I've made a rather serious mistake in that I've made a very spread out base. You know, I've got stuff down here, I've got stuff here, and what you'll notice is that they have to walk from up here, from down here, from here to here, and there's nothing really in between there. It's just lots of stuff and there's great huge gaps in the middle of it all, which is bad. It should be compact and efficient. Because this has been cobbled together as I've learned how to build this base, it has not been compact and efficient. It has been a complete mess. Well, at least these little guys have all grown up, which is kind of cute. Because you see, we're occasionally running out of resources for stuff, which isn't good. However, I can't really say okay so let's expand into this area let's expand into this area or down here for algae or up here for copper or up here for copper i can't really do that because if i do there's going to be nothing to build up there so we're literally just going to be doing a mining operation rather than an expansion operation which i don't feel is going to be a very good idea in fact i feel it might be an unbelievably dangerous idea which worries me because like all of this space there, here, 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 and here, and all of this bit down here is all just completely wasted space. Like this entire base could probably fit if you cut the top off there and you cut a line down there, probably fit in this block, block here. But because I haven't been efficient, I haven't done it. What? Outdoor renovations? What are you on about? Did we research something? Um. Why, why, why are we not doing this? Why, why are we not supercomputerizing? Well, I'm, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put these on a. Yeah, that's on a six. Oh, is it because this is on a five? Hmm. I'll leave it on a six for the time being. I don't know why they're not doing advanced research. We've got researchers. We've got plenty of researchers, haven't we? Um. Oh, it's only Lindsay though. I might need to give somebody else the advanced researching skill then, in that case. That might be a requirement. 
Hooray, we're actually doing advanced research. Finally. I'm not even researching something useful, we're just researching plastic manufacturing, which I can't do because there's no oil around. Which again is another problem. I need to be expanding because I need to be expanding into new areas in order to find new resources, but at the same time I kind of can't. Because I'm just... I have not built this place efficiently. Which is why it's going to be banging on about these long commutes. Oh, I see. Outdoor reservation. Construct a building outside the initial starting biome. Oh, that'll be something to do with the sink then. Oh, we have graphs. Uh oh, 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 oh. That's not good, is it? That's a bad graph. That's a bad graph. Travel time. Yeah, travel time is peaking. Stress is trending down though. Average stress removed is is getting up, I guess. That's that's good. That's good. Sheesh. <laughs> Studying economics and the best I can say about a graph is that's good. Doesn't bode well for my career, does it? Is that Lindsay? Of course it's Lindsay. Right, so Lindsay's going into the area that's full of germs, has no nice oxygen in it, and she's going to have to go in the water. So, as ever, Lindsay is the one that is doing the hard, painful, dangerous jobs, while everybody else is just milling around. Well, all I can say is, Lindsay is amazing. Yeah, look, stress is already creeping up, and it's Lindsay, of course it's Lindsay. Um, I don't know if I should applaud Lindsay for her efforts, or just kind of be really annoyed that she's so stupid that she never lets anybody else do any jobs. I mean, maybe it's like a point of pride for her, like she, she doesn't believe anybody else can do it properly. Which, to be honest with you, I wouldn't put past her. In fact, I wouldn't put it past her, because these people are complete muppets, all of them. But still... There are people. We have to love them for some crazy reason. Right, okay, we can re-enable this then. Because we finally got this working. We can finally start pumping this into here and refilling our supply of bad water. Okay, can we see that going? Yes. Oh, that is a very long track. That is a lot of resources we're using on that. Now, please tell me this isn't going to start pouring bad water into... No, good, okay, it's not going down here, it's just going straight out there. Okay, that's fine. That I can live with. Yeah, I'm sorry there, little friend, little pack you, but we're gonna kind of drain your swamp, I suppose. In the sense that we're just gonna kind of steal all of your stuff. How's our oxygen generation, by the way? Uh, yesterday. Yesterday it was 60... So before that was 14, before that was... Okay, so we seem to be on a kind of... We're still on a pot, we're still on a surplus, which is all I'm asking for. All I want is a surplus. I don't care if it's a big one or a small one. I just want one. Oh, sheesh. I'm actually moving on to something else. Is there something more valuable I can find? No, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it on, uh, on the current thing for the time being, because I think the plastic production will be quite useful for us one day, if we can ever find... Oh, no. What has happened? There's no cold in this Oh gosh, as I reduce it to sixes and they've been doing priority sevens, which means they haven't been filling the thing up. Oh gosh, there we are, there's some cold. Really would have thought these things would have lasted longer naturally, but never mind. Is it Lindsay? Yes, no mind. Oh, I see. This wire is taking damage because there are too many buildings pulling power from the circuit. That's the danger of having a circuit overload. It damages the wire. I see. That explains a lot. It doesn't help me. Not even a tiny bit does it help me. But it explains the problem. It does. It explains why this is so dangerous to have the circuit overload. See, again, what would be an efficient system to have on the base would be to, say, have one coal generator that's powering... 
I don't know, all of this stuff, and then another coal generator have all of this stuff, and have them on separate areas, like have a manufacturing sector, and an agricultural sector, and a plumbing sector, and all these different sectors of your base, you can have different areas in order to keep people clumped up where they need to be, so they only need to move around to other parts of the base when they're moving from sort of sector to sector, rather than all the time, because things are just shoved everywhere willy-nilly. Spicy tofu. I'm scared of this, but it's a lot of food and I can't turn it down. Um, yeah, please tell me people don't have allergic reactions to spicy tofu. Um, yeah, and then you'd be able to have just a bit of power on each circuit, because the circuits would be independent of each other. So you just have your generator and your batteries independent from each other. So then they wouldn't be overloading all the time, because you just have a bit going from each one, rather than having a single power station that powers absolutely everything, causing yourself to have wires that are taking their twice the load they need. Oh I see, it has the potential, oh I see, so if everything was on board at the same time, everything was running at max capacity, it would be drawing 2340 watts out of this wire. Currently it's only drawing 780 or 1020 out of it. I see, so it's not actually getting damaged. What it's complaining about is that the potential load is too high. I see. That explains why is there never any food being put into these things? Like, why do I bother keeping this thing cold if you're never going to put anything in it? Where is all the food, may I be so bold as to ask? Meal rice. Stale. What in the name of Malakath's toenails are you doing? Oh, for goodness sake. They weren't putting the food in. They weren't putting the food in, which meant it was spoiling. Which means we've been wasting food for weeks, probably. Right, I have also uh, realised one other thing. You, there is storage bins. Bins where you can keep stuff. Which means you don't need to just have stuff lying on the floor constantly. Which can be quite beneficial. Considering that I believe, unless I'm very much mistaken, that having stuff just hanging all over the floor... Sorry, there's a fly I've been stuck in my room for a while, I can't get rid of him. <laughs> what is going on in my life? Um, yes, having stuff just sitting on the floor is bad for decor, because the place is messy. But if you can keep the place tidy, then they'll be happier. That's what this tidying skill is, that's been down here, or wherever it was. There was something to do with tidying at some point, I think. Tidying is what this whole sweeping thing is, and that's what this is. Moves debris in storage, yes. Which I'm going to start having them do, at least in the main areas that they're working. Just to kind of clear stuff up a little bit. Just so that in the main areas where they are, they are not constantly... Uh, how do I put everything, um... There we are. It's basically everything that isn't organic, uh, and, like, relevant. So, food and stuff, so that food continues to go in here. Yeah, they're just storing 12 seconds. But hopefully this will tidy the place up a bit. And it'll mean that they're not constantly worrying about stuff because they're tripping over bits and pieces all the time. Oh, God, Lindsay, my girl, what is wrong with you? Pop deer drums, hungry and allergic reaction. Low oxygen, sucky feet, low morale, allergic reaction, pop deer drums. That's from stress, isn't it? Uh, that's from pressure, I mean. Oh, gosh, where have you been going with this high pressure? Probably places like here. No, that's not really high pressure. Yeah, probably from being in here and cooking and, and being in this room. Oh dear, can I get this fixed, please? Like, if I put this on a six, please, will somebody fix this? Because I'm, I'm kind of worried about that breaking, because that's going to smash our whole system to pieces if that happens.
Um, numbers. Numbers, numbers. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Like, am I hallucinating? Have I been drinking? Or does Lindsay have 22 morale? How? What is going on? I haven't even been doing anything. I've literally just been sitting here. Letting bits and bobs get done. Quietly. How? May I ask? Okay, there's time to drift back down again. Why is this a thing? I didn't even think it would be physically possible to get that. Okay, it must be because they have like the most advanced thing and they'd get like plus 13 on their morale. Uh, morale requirement. That is crazy. That is absolutely bonkers. Absolutely bonkers. I've also come to a, a rather um, nasty conclusion. To do a lot of the stuff that I want to do in the future, I need plastic. And to do plastic, I need oil. And to get oil, I need an oil well, which requires refined metals. Because currently, we're just using basic metal ore for the production of bits and pieces. But we're going to need refined metal eventually, which is why I am looking into stuff like this. A refinery. Very dangerous. Very, very dangerous indeed. Quite possibly because it produces lots of heat and I think it also produces bad water and we've got more and more natural gas building up which I don't know where this is coming from I'm guessing it's some kind of a combination of polluted oxygen and co2 maybe honestly I don't know what it is but whatever it is it's not good we've got more of that is our oxygen situation okay just about we're just about breaking even Oh dear, and you see, the prob another problem that I've got at the minute is that there are so many basic errands going on all the time. Like there's terrariums that need to be filled up, there's water that needs to be pumped, there's food that needs to be harvested, there's food that needs to be eaten, there's these things that need to be done, there's tidying that's done, there's little bits of construction they're doing, there's, and there's research being done. There's so many jobs that they're just doing currently that they have very little time left in the day for new projects like this and this and this for example are just not getting done which I mean is fine you know those errands are important but at the same time those errands are what keep us alive for another day projects are what keep us alive for another week and that worries me Robaldo. Okay, I'm going to have to be careful about this because everything that I give you is not going to improve you by a lot. Um, see, that would increase it by two. Okay, I'll get you something that increases it by one just in case. Get another researcher, I think. Just because we, we've only got Lindsay as the researcher currently and Lindsay's constantly busy doing other stuff because she likes to do all the hard jobs herself rather than letting anybody else help her poor woman. Oh, dear. So, yeah, I, I am worried because we could bring in more people and I think that things have been an improvement since you brought in our latest person old blue top over here but um Lindsay's got two points but I am so worried because her morale fluctuates scarily like it will skyrocket and then it will plummet it just goes up and down so much and so randomly I can't predict when it's going to happen. I mean, I know that her stress will go up if she, I don't know, has to dig through a load of slime or something, and that isn't good. But at the same time, I mean, at the same time, I can't predict it properly because at times it just randomly goes up, which is a very dangerous thing. Because that means I basically can't give her new skills because I'm afraid that it'll push her morale requirement so high that when her morale then goes back down for whatever reason, it'll be such a large deficit that our stress will just skyrocket. Do you know how we can produce clay? I haven't got a clue what on earth clay is required for, but maybe that would be a good thing to have. Fire cl uh, fires clay to produce ceramics. Do we have clay then? Uh, no, that's coal. Uh, cultivatable soil? No. Agriculture? No. Um, raw mineral? Filtration medium? Liquifiable? Liquid, consumer law, metal law. Maybe we don't have any clay. I don't think we do. I assume clay is something that you find somewhere. 
like it'll be out here or something. Copper, rock, algae, slime. Oh, indigenous rock, phosphorus, coal, blah, 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 blah. There's a lot, blah, 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 blah. I'm not seeing any clay, but eventually we will presumably discover some clay. And when we do, we now have a machine to turn that into ceramics, which I would have thought we would have needed already, frankly, what with the sinks and everything, but never mind. I've also discovered these things. Which is a fire pole. And my thought process is the, the fire pole lets you go down fast. You go down fast, you go up slow. So what my thought process is, this is, is maybe here perhaps I don't know maybe like just along here and maybe we could like push these out a little bit if we built fire poles next to the ladders maybe they'd use the ladders to go down and the uh, rather the ladders to go up and the poles to go down which might reduce the amount of time they're spending on the ladders at least which might possibly reduce commutes a bit I ain't got a clue if I'm honest. Ugh, back to bedtimes. Mm, new person. Some food, or do we want another person? I am quite with the idea of getting a person, if I'm honest. Because we are just getting nothing done at the minute, which is just not going. You can't build. You can't cook, and you can't build. My giddy arm, you're all completely useless. You're germ resistant. Uh, you're a binge eater. I don't want that though. You run fast, and you've got a decent extra bit of carrying capacity and a bit of speed. Oh, stinky. Do I want stinky? Yeah. Ah, what the food? We need the food! No, I don't care. I do not care. I do not give two pins. Uh, what do you like? You don't like anything. Goodness. Oh, you like critter on Well, just go deal with it, kid. Right, we'll have to turn these back on, which means we're also going to have to construct, I think, another another farming area, which I will do now. Oh, look at me. I'm increasing power consumption even more. Oh, jeez, this is a stupid idea. Never mind, I've tried to nearly double up our food production. I don't know how many seeds we've got, how many seeds do we have? We've got 17 mealwoods, we've got what, four blossom seeds, we've even got a couple of weird ones that we could put in, that'd be, that'd be cool to have. Yeah, let's get this done because we are going to run out of food pretty soon, I don't know, do we have statistics for calorie consumption rates? There we are, you can kind of see, you can kind of see for a moment. Um, yeah, see, the problem with this, you see, is it's not a passive process, calorie generation. Food production is not a passive thing. It's not a thing that's happening all the time. Some days there's no food production, other days there's lots of food production. See, here we added 5,400, here we added 7,000, here we added a little bit more. See, here we didn't add any. You see, purely because sometimes we grow food, some days we grow food, and some days we don't, which is a bit of a problem. So what are these new things we could have? Oh. Oh, are these not, like... Oh, I think these are more, like, flowers. Rather than food production. So I suppose we're going to have to continue with the whole uh, mealwood for the time being. It's not the greatest quality stuff in the history of the universe. But we're going to have to deal with it. Oh, dear, dear. At least they finally got these airflow tiles done. How's the temperature managing? Wow, this has gone back to yellow. Okay, so the temperature problem does seem to be being solved. But it's about to stop being solved. Because we're nearly out of ice. Well, I didn't want to do this, but I guess we've got to. With the new production of this water, though, we may be able to get away with this. We're going to have to have... Ice generators... I just don't know where under the sun they are. Why do I get the problem? Why do I get the yeah? You need you need power and you produce heat. 
Ice makers can be used as a small renewable source of ice. Oh gosh, give me strength. Where's the coldest part of the base? Probably over here, but I do not want to run the plumbing all the way over there. So we're not going to have them there. We're going to have them... Yeah, we'll put them there, I suppose. I don't want to, because that means they're going to be producing heat directly underneath the... Uh, directly underneath the second farm, which isn't going to be great for anybody at all. But I just don't know what else to do. Because we are running dangerously low on ice. And guess what? We're going to increase the power requirements of this base even more. Oh dear. See, this is my problem. I kind of know how to solve problems. Ugh, that didn't sound good. I kind of know how to solve problems, but at the same time... I know that with every problem I solve, I'm causing ourselves more. How much, how, why, 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 where's our cold gone? Did you become... Oh. We haven't got any coal. So, remember what I was saying about people not getting any jobs done because we run out of stuff? Right, okay, so. Sit rep. We've no ice, which means we can't produce any reduction in temperature. But that doesn't really matter, because the coal generators aren't online anymore, because we've run out of coal, which means we don't have any power generation, which at least means the circuits won't be overloaded. So, hey, our three biggest problems have been solved. Our requirement for ice, our requirement for coal, our requirement for temperature, and our requirement for circuits not being overloaded. All of those problems have been solved. The only problem is, we don't now have any power. Oh, gosh. Right, okay, what other methods of power production can I find? Hydrogen. And solar. Converts natural gas into electrical power. Hmm, I was whispering on previously about how terrible it was that all of this natural gas was building up, but maybe... Actually, no, we're not going to have a research task because that's one less errand for you to do. Maybe we actually don't need to worry about this. Oh, we need to worry about this. We need to worry about this. We need to get this problem solved immediately. I've also realised we didn't have half the natural gas I thought we did. Oh, gosh. Natural gas generator. What does this do? Combustible gas. Gas intake pipe, gas outtake pipe, produces polluted water, produces carbon dioxide, it requires a... No, produces a lot of power, produces a little bit of heat. Oh, gosh. Do we have any pockets of natural gas hanging around? There's that one. Well, that is about the size of it, isn't it? Oh, gosh, how much... How much natural gas is here? Not a lot. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh gosh. I built this vent here because there was far less oxygen over here. That's the whole reason I built this farm here was so that we'd finally be able to start getting rid of the CO2 but it's still over pressurised. Oh. We don't have any power for water refinement. We're not going to have any power for ice production. But these don't matter then. For the time being, what is that? Go, go, go away! Ah, oh, for goodness sake. For the time being then, this does not matter. Uh, we can just completely forget about the production of ice. Because ice does not matter. Because we have no use for ice. Because we can't... There's no reason of having any ice if we haven't got any coal. Are there any stocks of coal around? Okay, this is coal. This is coal. Okay, where is there more coal? Food shortage? Shush. We've got lots of new food growing, nearly, kind of, not really. No fertilizer. Ah, oh, we got no power! This is literally all the coal I can find. Oh.
this could very well be the beginning of the end. Oh, stop it. Put these back down. Because no. there's no point at the minute. Like, you're just going to make this place freezing cold and you're not going to do any anything beneficial with it. Uh, but I'm finding a tiny bit of coal. Look, they found a tiny bit of coal, which should at least delay our power problem for a minute. Okay. Okay. We found 4,800 kilograms of coal. Which isn't great, because previously we had like 10 tons of the stuff. That is literally all the coal I can find. I can find no other coal. There's a small supply of it up here, like around here and here, but I do not know how to get to this without releasing all of this chlorine. And I don't know a lot about chemistry, and I know even less about gases, but I know chlorine isn't good. I know I do not want people drinking chlorine. Chlorine is going to be unbelievably dangerous, and I need to up the priorities on all of these to servants to match the rest of the food. Because this stuff is intentional. Because with the with the latest couple of people we brought in, we're gonna eat all our food in minutes. Oh, I'm so scared. I am genuinely really, really scared that very soon we could end up with the Grand Hitler Diddly Squat. I just don't know what to do because there are not the resources here that I need. I mean, there's coal, but what do I do about these gas pockets? What do I do about all the germs in the slime? See, the problem is we have gone way beyond my meager knowledge that I had coming into this game, you see. I had a wee bit of knowledge. I'd done some reading. I'd done some watching. But A, that was all the builds that were months and months ago, if not possibly even a year ago, which is why forever I was looking for a, a, a different form of a, an ice consuming temperature getting rid of device which isn't in the game anymore because they got rid of it and they replaced it with the icy fans instead so I'm just kind of sitting here being scared because you've got no morale no one has any morale oh I've made a lot of mistakes, don't get me wrong, and I really don't know precisely how to fix it, because it's going way beyond my knowledge. I don't know, I've never seen anybody, I've never read of anybody going basically outside this sandstone algae copper mixture into these areas, which means I really do not know how to progress, because I mean, how do I drain the chlorine? How do I get rid of the chlorine? Or is it something I can use chlorine for? What can I use chlorine for? Oh, gosh, look at that. High pressure gas valve. This thing would have been used for about 10 years ago. <laughs> right, that's gonna have to be it for today. I'm sorry we didn't make a huge amount of progress. But hey, we, we, we finished this project. And we got a new farm, we met some new people, and we're trying to solve the CO2 problem, and we're running out of every resource under the sun. And hey, for five minutes, morale was at its probably a record high, probably a record high to have all your duplicates at 15 morale or better. Oh, gosh. I am really worried about these people. I am really, really worried about these people, but never mind. They will survive somehow. I don't know how they'll survive. I've also just realized we didn't build a bed for Stinky. Where are the beds? There are the beds. Poor Stinky's been sleeping on the floor, which probably hasn't been helping his odor problem. Oh, hooray, please be something like coal. What? Okay. Food would be lovely. I'm not having either of you. If I got these things, what would they do? Hang on a minute. Let me close that for a second. What do you do? What's your purpose? Aquatic creatures that cannot live outside water or contaminated water digest. They eat algae and they produce polluted dirt. Well, I don't want you. You're 
consuming the thing I need to make oxygen. We'll have the food instead. Right, never mind. That will be it for this episode. It's probably been a long one, and probably not got not not a lot actually got done in it, but a lot of disaster happened. So I don't know. Eventually, what is probably going to happen is we're all going to die, and I'm going to have to start a new uh, colony, one that I can hopefully build slightly more efficiently and intelligently. Hopefully, but I've honestly got no idea if that will happen. But we'll see. But until then, thank you very much for joining me this evening. Look after each other. 